Okay, so hi, Mom. Hey. <laughs> so uh, I'm your only child, and so I've been with you for a long time, and you've been with me for a long time. So on that note, how, in your opinion, do you see both yourself and Dad reflected in me? I'm an introvert. You're an introvert. Oh, we are both introverts, but we are in, in jobs that um, <clears throat> don't necessarily let us be that introverted. But I think you still have to... You do the public thing, and then you go back, and then you recharge when you're an introvert, and you have to, and you, and you do a public job. Um, do you think that's nature or nurture? Oh, I think it's nature. I think it's just, I think you're born with that. And then, unfortunately, I think you you worry like me. I think you have... Really? I, I think you might. Maybe not quite as much. There are a lot of things that keep me up at night, mostly to do with the library. Say it. It's um. It feels like a weighty responsibility to think about the next generation, and you don't want to screw that up. So, that's that's the worry. But if you're so sensitive to that, why are you worried you're going to screw it up? Because if you're so aware and you're so present about it. I, th I do think you make the best decisions you can at the time exactly. with the information you have, and I truly, truly believe that. But the the worry, I think, is that um, I will miss something, that I won't get good enough information. And, th and that's not blaming somebody else. That's just blaming my ability to take that in. No, it's not. It goes, it goes with the territory. It's, it's the way I'm built. It's the way I'm put together. It's, it's, I can't. I wish I could change that piece because I might sleep better, but um, I can't. Honestly, I think my worries, if any, are that since I've been there, you know, yes, my dream as a child was to plan plant swaps and put up Christmas lights and, you know, working in a public garden is pretty much like, you know, they'll pay you to do that, so, okay, great. But what I've discovered about myself in the last year is that that's not enough anymore. Following the library's uh, plans, even, you know, this idea of becoming a third place and then sort of inviting people in to become a social gathering spot. We were talking and I said, you know, I realize third place isn't good enough anymore. It's too passive. It's too, it's too passive. You have to actively mm -hmm. invite people to participate. You have to actively make an effort to engage them with what you're doing. And in order to do that, it's going to fundamentally change what your organization looks like, both to the people inside and outside. And they're going to be some of your hardliner people who don't like that. But in doing all of this and telling myself that, what I also um, have had to do to myself is realize that I'm also one of those people. See how well you said that? That's all about libraries. I mean, e everything yeah. you said mirrors the thinking that I've had. For the last 10 years, I've talked third place. And now I think it's not enough either. But I'm not sure what the next thing is yet. But it's the co-creation. It's the engagement on a level we've never engaged before. It's making this place the forum for hard things and the conversations that have to happen if we're going to change our community. And so what can libraries do? We are, we are in a unique place to move those conversations forward, I think. But we have to have the spaces first to do it. And that's where we're going. What you worry about, but you'll be fine. <laughs>